Tasty knives are always good. Don't get cut. Oi. This was on Amazon. I got it for a really good price. Oi, come on, little knife. Opening the box, it comes closed cell foam, I guess you would call it. The hard stuff. Has the connectors and everything to run the RGB fans. Has zip ties for cable management. Comes with a warranty information card. And a make it your own little instruction manual. This way you can set it up however you want. It can use, oh let's see. A 120 millimeter, a 240, 280, or a 360 brad. Well, I guess we'll show you as I unbox it. Anywho. Oh, put this on the ground and lift it out. Oh. Oh. That's heavy. I eventually plan on uh, using this for a new gaming rig, but right now I'm just going to be putting my old, the guts from my old gaming rig in here. Uh, probably put an RGB strip in here. This model does not come with a controller for the front panel. The three fans that have the RGB, you got to buy that separately. There is a model, supposedly, that you can buy uh, that comes with it. I could not find that model, or I would have bought that. Oh. Oh. This side is metal, which would basically hide your cables for your cable management. Oh. Comes with a, what well, looks like a 120 millimeter fan in the back. And. Oi! Can't see him, but I'm pretty sure. Oh! Cool! Comes with the three 120 millimeter RGB fans in front. Oh wait, so let's see how do I pop this off? As you can see, here's your side panel. Uh, this is your glass panel. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my toolkit. This one has a two 3.5 inch, I think it is, uh, hard drive bays right here. And it can house, let's see, one, two, three, supposedly five SSDs. Very carefully lift this up. Oh, it's so beautiful. My first glass case. See somewhere where I won't break. But, oh, as you can see. If I remember right, you can buy more SSD. Wait, put me down. You can buy more SSD trays for the system. Um, like I said, it can handle an E ATX port, ITX, micro ATX, ATX, anything ATX would fit in here. Uh, this drive sled for the 2.5, and looks like the three. This is both 2.5 and 3.5. Uh, bay adapter thingy is down here. It can be slotted three different ways for different various lengths of uh, power supply units. 
has a nice shroud right here. This one does not have rubber grommets. Oi. But if you look up here, hopefully you can see. Mm. There are little slots built in up here that will allow you to run your things like a 4 pin power connector. Um, I'm going to be putting my let's see, 120 millimeter Corsair all in one here in the back. I plan on buying a triple rad and do a custom loop on here. Um, see, so to go, get rid of you. Here's all the front panel IO. Oh, it has a USB 3.0 header and HD audio. Here are more fan connector thingies. You know, I have an idea. Coolest design for the most part. Is it me or these always have one screw that is a little hard? And here's the other side. As you can see, it's seem to be sturdy construction. It is cooler master. Um let's see. And it has a bottom airflow vent for your PSU. But yeah, this will eventually house the system. <clears throat> the Celeste RX-1, which, which is what I call my current gaming rig, is getting dated to the point that I'm having a slight issue with video encoding for when I do my video editing. I think it has more to do with the fact that my Biostar board is a cheap, basically generic, uh, I had a really low budget when I built this. I only paid originally 60 bucks for the board. The fact it's lasted this long makes me like Biostar products because they seem to last. But if I can, I'm going to actually keep the main setup, same socket and everything, and just get probably an Asus board that has two PCIe X16 slots in it because my Biostar board only has one and my video card's so big it takes up three slots pretty much and that's because I'm using a custom air cooler. One of the reasons I want to go custom liquid water cooling on it is to try and empty out the case. But considering how big this case is I may not have to worry about it. But yeah that is the unboxing and the plans for the new Corsair gaming rig I'm going to build. Uh, hope you all liked today's video. Um, no sponsors once again. I paid for this out of my own pocket. And, well, let's just say I'm winding up broke every check so I can... These are various different things now. Only thing I have now, is, worry about now is time where I can edit the videos for you all and put something together. One of the upcoming videos will be where I replace the tie rod in on the car. Uh, the car I'm buying. But yeah, hope y'all have a good day, night, whatever time zone you're in. Yada 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 yada. I've been up for too long again. Uh, I will not be doing a video recording of me doing the swap of all the hardware in here. I will... We'll do a video on it after it's all together. Uh, I hope y'all like today's video. See ya. And this time it's, yeah, see ya.